Today we are going to talk about unit rates. So a blank is a ratio that compares two amounts with different units of measure. And that is a rate. And then blank is a simplified rate with a denominator of one. And this is a unit rate. So here we need to remember that a unit means one. So when we are talking about unit rates and we have ratios, we want the denominator in our unit rate to be one or in our ratio. So which units goes on top and which ones go on bottom? So if we're talking about a unit, meaning one, um, are we talking about money, weight, gallon, distance, dollars? Or are we talking about miles, time, hour, minute, ounces? So these are the typical words you're going to see in a word problem that let us know which word and number belong on the top ratio and which one belong on the bottom ratio. So the thing that we want to get to one is miles, um, time, hours, things like these are units of measure. Those are our units of measure that we will be getting to one. So those will go on the bottom and these will go on the top. Also known as the denominator. A long word. And numerator. So Sam went 90 miles in five hours, and what is his speed per hour? So when it says things like per hour, that is one unit. That is one unit. So this is what we're trying to find. So this also lets us know that hour would be our bottom and the next thing that he was talking about was miles. So miles would go on top. So according to the problem, we have 90 miles in five hours. So when we want to find our unit rate, one thing that we can do is just, remember we want our denominator to be one. So that would be knowing that we're going to be what to five divided by five equals one. So we know what we need to divide by. But if we set this up in our proportion, we know that we want to get to one hour in X amount of miles. So that would be our cross multiplication. And here is one. And here's the other diagonal. So if we set this up, we have our green numbers and our yellow numbers. I like X on the left. Everything we've learned so far, we've had X on the left. So I'm going to write my yellow numbers first. 5 times X is equal to 90 times 1. So we know that 5 times X is 5X, and 90 times 1 is 90. Divide by 5. And x equals whatever 90 divided by 5 is. So we go off to the side if we're not sure. And 5 goes into 9 one time. And 5 goes into 40 eight times. So what does it mean for x to be 40? It means 40 miles per one hour. If we're just talking about unit rate, notice what happened over here. Okay, over here, we divided our 90 by our 5. That was our numerator and our denominator. So, again, if I'm just asking for unit rate, something that you could do is set up your fraction or your ratio. And remember that this is a fraction bar, which means division. And then 90 divided by 5 does get you your, your answer. So that's just for unit rate. So let's talk about that again on number 2. 
a an eight ounce can of cola cost a dollar forty four and I meant to take this out because I just want to talk about unit rate. What is the price per ounce? So per ounce tells us that this is our one unit of measure and that goes on the bottom. So it should be um, money over ounces. So here I have an eight ounce can of cola and a dollar forty four. So what I was saying before is if I'm just unit looking for unit rate, you can say that fraction notation is division. I'm sorry, I set that up correct incorrectly. Look, I have my words over here, and then I still set it up incorrectly. Um, so money goes on top, and ounces go on bottom. Um, that's why it's super important to write your ratio with words first. Um, so what I was saying is that we could use this as a fraction bar um, if I'm looking for unit rate. Now, if it's saying um, 8 ounces of cola cost $1.44, how much does what I was writing right here, 12 ounces, then we would set up the proportion like we did on the previous problem. But just unit rate, I could say 144 divided by eight. Remember to bring your decimal straight up. Eight goes into 14 one time, minus eight is what? Sorry. Okay, um, 14 minus eight is six, and bring down your four, and eight goes into 64. 8 times minus 64 is 0. So um, this would mean that x equals 18.18, 18, which what does that mean? Um, we're talking about money on top, so that would be 18 cents per 1 ounce. So I'd like you to end in the ratio. Okay, number 3, I want you to try this using fraction notation and then press play when you have finished. Okay, so you set this up 120 divided by three um, is the operation that we would perform. Our words is that words go on top and minutes go on bottom. So it wants to know per minute, one minute, what's happening. So here we would take our numerator and divide it by our denominator and three goes into 12 four times and goes into zero, zero times. And so what this means for X to be 40 means that he can type 40 words per one minute. And we have one more. A 24 pack of water costs $3. Dollars. Madison drinks one bottle of water every day. What is the approximate cost per bottle? So this per one bottle. So this is saying, hey, we know how much 24 cost. Let's find out how much um, just one bottle. That bottle that she drinks every day. Let's find out how much one of them cost. Sorry, my pen went a little crazy there. Um, so 24 pack of water per bottle. So that means we have 24 bottles. Let's do words first. Bottles. Cost $3. So we're going to know money over bottle. Okay, go ahead and set this up and solve it and press play when you have finished. Okay, so you should have gotten 3 over 24, which is um, money over bottle, and that's 3 divided by 24, and x equals 0 0.125, and <clears throat> we're talking about money here, so this is where money stops in the hundredths place, so we would look into the right number. If it's 5 or more, we're going to add 1 and then drop it, and so x equals... 13 cents um, approximately for our rounding purposes that means that is 13 cents per one bottle and that is it make sure if you have any questions you ask in class